So, welcome guys. Today we'll be doing DIY chokers. You can pretty much make chokers out of any trim that you can find in a fabric store. You will need any fabric trim, some scissors, jump rings. You will also need lobsters as well as ribbon clamps. You will also need some chain to make your choker adjustable. First, you're going to want to measure your fabric trim around your neck to see how tight or loose you want it. And then you cut it according to how much you measured around your neck. Put the ribbon clamps on each end of the fabric trim. You can use your pliers to really clamp it down. It's shown in the video. Then take one jump ring and pry it open with a scissors. There's a hole on each ribbon clamp and so you're going to want to put a jump ring through each side. Do not close your jump ring yet. Take a lobster which is your necklace hook that you will also find in craft stores and then put it onto the jump ring and then close the jump ring. Do the same on the other side except the other side will have a chain on it. So with this choker, it's the exact same thing as with the first one. So we're just gonna speed through this. <laughs> the only difference with this choker is that you're going to put a charm. So you will fold your choker in half and then you will cut a little slit, put an open jump ring through it and then put your charm onto the jump ring and then close the jump ring and there is your charm choker. Using these materials you can pretty much make a choker out of anything be it lace or velvet. For the suede cord chokers you will need a different kind of clamp that can also be found in craft stores. basically do the same thing we've been doing throughout this video. Clamps on each side, jump rings, a lobster on one side and chain on the other side. And Boom! You have your choker. For this one all you'll need is the straight cord and some charms or beads. You're going to measure three arms length worth of cord and then you're going to attach every bead that you want or any charm that you want at the end and then you'll tie it. How this choker is supposed to look is shown in the intro of the video so if you go back and watch you can see exactly how to tie it. So please like, subscribe, comment and see you next week!